hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a very long while since i posted a video um actually it's almost a year now um since i posted the last one but i promise you i'm back now and i'm back to stay i can promise a video every week but i'll try to post one every other week you know until i can pick up the pace but today guys i'm gonna be making some jamaican style patties and i'm gonna be using some green spit peas for the food so at this point i'm adding some green seasoning to some olive oil and i'm gonna let that saute well i'm gonna saute that for two minutes then i'm gonna go in with the split peas now the seasonings that i use um are pretty much some jerk seasoning walker's wood jerk seasoning i use some maggie all-purpose seasoning i also added some goya sazon if that's so it's pronounced um i also added soy sauce because i wanted that brownish look for the filling i was trying to attempt a beef patty kind of look if you get what i mean and i didn't have any browning so i used soy sauce I also went in with some ketchup and some tomato base from Goya as well. I stir it all in and I allow that to cook for 10 to 15 minutes basically because you don't want the peas to be really really soft. All right. um, you can also add butter because I missed that step. Adding butter to the filling gives it more juice so that when the patty bakes, you will have a, a juicy filling and not, you know, something that's too dry. So, definitely something to note and definitely something that I'll be adding next time around. So, I'm also going to be showing you guys how I make the patty dough and that will be coming up next. All right, so here in this bowl, I have two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to be grating some butter in it too. That's half cup of butter. Actually, I should have seasoned the flour before, so I'm adding Goya Sazon and some turmeric powder. That's to give the crust the color I'm looking for. All right, here I am continuing grating the butter. And you're gonna mix that all together I added some more turmeric and seasoning to the flour and I'm mixing that all in but essentially after grating the butter you want to mix everything together until you get a consistency resembling that of breadcrumbs you get what I'm saying so this is how it looks and that's the consistency you want all right okay so moving right along i'm now kneading the flour and i used ice cold water to do that um the more flaky you want your crust to be the more butter you should add so actually at this point if you're not satisfied you can add more butter you can also leave the dough in the refrigerator overnight but when it's time to actually make the patties you can add more butter at that point And now it's time to roll the dough. I actually didn't have a rolling pin, so I'm gonna be using a bottle. Yes, a bottle. <laughs> Very old fashioned, I tell you. But <clears throat> I started out with a half of the dough first, and then I'm gonna make my way into the next, next half. 
so there i am rolling the dough and i'm just gonna be cutting out <clears throat> you know little rectangular shapes putting in the filling and then using my fork to press down the edges to give it that little putty look you know shape it up nicely and thing well i tried my best to create that shape but hmm, didn't work out really okay so i'm just gonna be repeating this process for a few other patties and then i'm gonna put them in the oven So I'm all set. I've only gotten five of them. At this point, I should have brushed on a little oil on the top of them, but I forgot. So whatever. I'm going to put them in the oven now and then show you what they look like afterwards. So there they are. Finished. Um, it's, the crust is very flaky because I tested it. Uh, all juicy inside the filling. It could have been more juicier, as I said. Um to get a more juicy filling you just want to add plenty butter and that's it so thank you for watching guys see you again in my next video bye